starring Jan Clayton, Tommy Rettig, George Cleveland, with John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. And there's another. Oh, thanks, Mr. Miller. One more, Gramps. Okay. Now I'll do this one. Leave that one for a while. Let's go out and test some. Here. Come on, girl. They're to look at the sun. For what? Well, there's going to be an eclipse today. What's an eclipse? Well, that's when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Then we can't see the sun except for the fire on the outside edge. That's called the corona. What do you do that for? I don't know what for. It just does it every once in a while. Maybe you'd understand a little better if I showed you. Now, pretend you're the sun. Me, me the sun? That's right. And I'm the Earth, and Porky will be the moon. Now, the moon goes around the Earth. And at the same time, the Earth is going around the sun. Now, stop. Now, the moon is right in between the Earth and the sun. That's you. Now, I can't see the sun because the moon's in the way. But now, as the moon, Porky, goes on, then I can see it. You understand? No. You'll understand a little better when it happens. Let's go see if Gramps has the other glasses ready. Well, I guess you're all ready. You ought to start pretty soon. Where's your mom? She don't want to miss this. She's in the house. I'll call her. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Loose tooth. Loose tooth. Let's see. Yes, see, you sure have. Now, it's almost out. I'll yank it right out. No! Huh? Well, it's 9 10 south now. No! Timmy, it's got to come out sometime. Just one little pull, and you know what you can do? You can put the tooth under your pillow at night, and the fairies will exchange it for a quarter. Won't they, Porky? Yeah. A whole quarter to keep? Yes, sir, a whole quarter to keep. To spend on anything I want? Uh-huh. I never in my whole life had any money of my own before. Didn't she? Well, I got an idea. We'll let Lassie do it for you, like she used to do for me. Mm. Lassie? Well, sure. We used to tie one end of the string around my tooth, then the other end around Lassie's neck. Then Gramps would call her, and... Before I knew it, the, I'll show you. Porky, you better go outside and watch. We don't want to miss the eclipse. Okay. There you go. There. Now, this isn't going to hurt a bit. Open up. There. Unless he's the best dentist in Calverton. Come here, girl. Come here. You sure it won't hurt? You won't even feel it. Now, Lassie, you know what you're supposed to do. Go on. Hey, hey, it's fine! Everybody, come on, these pins is fine! Come on! Come on. <laughs> Can you see it, Jimmy? Uh-huh. It looks funny. <laughs> the dark part's the moon, and it'll keep moving until it covers the sun completely. Look, Tim. Now you can see the sun again. The 
rest of it will be partial, just like it was at the beginning. Only the shadow will be on the other side. And now, um, let me relook for my tooth. <laughs> All right, dear. Just, just a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll never find it. Well, I suppose we won't, but at least we have to try, honey. Timmy, don't worry about your tooth anymore. When you wake up in the morning, well, we'll find it, I'm sure. All right, Aunt Ellen. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. told you before there just isn't anything we can do about it tonight and what happened to the sun today well that's a perfectly natural thing there have been lots and lots of eclipses before and there'll be thousands more of them well i didn't like it timmy you see those stars up there mm -hmm. well the sun is a star just like they are those stars have been shining millions and millions of years, honey, and they and the sun are going to keep on shining a long time after we're gone. Timmy, did you know that those stars have names? They have? Well, of course they have. Now, you know what the Milky Way is up there, see? That's called a galaxy. That means lots of stars. And then there are constellations. You see those five up above us? Well, the shepherds a long time ago thought that they looked like a, a beautiful lady in a rocking chair. She's called Cassiopeia. That's a funny name. <laughs> yes, it is. Then over there, this, that's Sagittarius, the archer. You see, it looks like he has a bow and arrow. Then over there is Hercules with his club. And then up there is Mercury, the messenger. How do you know all that, Anne Ellen? Well, I'm just very smart. Well, <laughs> I studied it at school. It's called astronomy. Timmy, I bet you didn't know there's even a dog star. Lassie? No. <laughs> no, he's called Sirius. Well, I think that's just about enough astronomy for tonight. But tomorrow, you be sure and ask Corky and Jeff to show you their star charts. Hmm? And now, how about going to bed? All right, Anne. Let's go. Now, in a little while, Jeff and I will go out and look for it once more. And if we find the tooth, we'll put it under your pillow. And then when the fairies come, there it will be all ready to be turned into a brand new quarter. Now, how about that? That'd be keen, Aunt Ellen. Well, that settles it then. Now, will you promise me to try to go to sleep? I promise. Fine. Now, good night. We're just going to have to look for that tooth some more. Timmy's much too upset. 
First place the eclipse frightened him this afternoon, and now he's worrying himself sick over the quarter. Well, all you have to do is, uh, see, where did I put that? All you have to do is take this quarter and put it under his pillow while he's sleeping. Then you tell him that you found the tooth. And then tell him that the fairies took it away and left this quarter in his place, you see? I will not be a party to deceiving the child. What in tarnation is well, not... Mom, a... wait, Gramps. Did either of you look in the barn when you were both looking for the tooth? I didn't. Oh, me neither. Well, that's where Lassie and Timmy were when Lassie pulled it. I think I'll go look. Oh, be careful when you light the lantern. Okay. Are you trying to tell me I ain't honest? No, of course not. There ain't no harm in telling a little white lie like that, is there? It's the way you feel about it, Dad, but I, I found don't... it. Look, we're all trying to make him happy, ain't Grants, we? Gramps, I found it. There ain't none of us trying to make him unhappy, is there? Dad, if you'll just listen, you'll realize this is all a waste of time. What do you mean, a waste of time? Jeff found the tooth, dear. Well, why in tarnation don't somebody tell me about these things? Now, look, here, will you put that quarter under his pillow? Yes, Dad. Okay. Thanks. What's your name? I know. Oh, of course you know. I mean, I know your name. It's Timmy. Oh, I think we're getting a little mixed up, aren't we? Everything's mixed up today. You see, the sun doesn't like to be eclipsed. It upsets him dreadfully. Up here, we pretend not to notice it. Well, then, Lassie ran away with my tooth. Lassie? With your tooth? Yes. She's a dog. It was tied to string on her neck. She pulled it for me. Why, you must be a very brave young man. I am. Have you seen a collie with a tooth? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Oh, wait a minute. I think I did see a collie. Just about a thousand years ago. Oh, that wouldn't be Lassie. Oh, then I'm afraid I can't help you. I've got to find her so I can put the tooth under my pillow. I think you should talk to Hercules. He's pretty good with dogs. Which way is he? Let me think. 
own. You just keep going that way. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome to me, and I hope you find Blasty. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Jimmy. you want. Are you Mr. Hercules? Really? Yep. Well, but Cassie Eddie back there said you might know where my dog is. Her name's Lassie. No, it ain't. It's Cassie up here. No, I mean my dog's name is Lassie. She has a big tooth hanging from her neck. Mine. Well, how many heads has she got? Only one. She's a regular collie. Well, that ain't the one I've been thinking about because this one had seven heads. But how come you were so careless as to lose your dog? I didn't lose her. She ran away. Why? Didn't you treat her right? Of course I did. Well, she ain't been around these parts, that's for sure. I don't know where to look for her now. Well, I tell you, you might go to Mercury. He knows more than I do. He gets around more. You better ask him. He's over that way. Thank you, Mr. Hercules. took his galaxy to the Big Dipper. <laughs> That's a joke, son. Huh? Skip it. So you lost your dog, huh? Yeah. It's important. I've got to find her. Well, if I lost the dog, I wouldn't be wandering around here like a little baby bothering everybody I'd see. I'd go straight to the dog star. Dog star? That way? Thank you. the dog? Yes, sir. How'd you know? That's usually the case. What kind of a dog? A collie. Collie, eh? Yes, sir. Her name's Lassie. She ran away with my tooth. But I don't care about the tooth anymore. I don't even care about the quarter. I just want to find Lassie. Well, let me see now. Eagle, boxer, Retriever, chow. Here we are. Collie. Is she here? How should I know? Look over there. E-R-T! You can look them over, but you mustn't touch them or speak to them. You'll have to decide which one is yours. If you can't do so, you'll have to leave here without your dog. I don't! I can't tell! I don't know! What kind of a boy are you? You don't know your own dog. She isn't my dog. She's Jeff. Not 
your dog. Did you steal her? No, no. I wouldn't steal. Please, you've got to believe me. I brought my quarter, and I got you. 